Auckland Auckland is a city in the North Island of New Zealand. Auckland is the largest urban area in the country, with an urban population of around 1,628,900 June 2018. It is located in the Auckland region. The area governed by Auckland Council. Which includes outlying rural areas and the islands of the Hauraki Gulf, resulting in a total population of 1,695,900. A diverse and multicultural city, Auckland is home to the largest Polynesian population in the world. The Maori language name for Auckland is Tamaki, pronounced Tamaki or Tamaki Macau Rao, meaning Tamaki with a hundred lovers. In reference to the desirability of its fertile land at the hub of waterways in all directions, the Auckland urban area as defined by Statistics New Zealand ranges to Waiwira in the north, Kumu in the northwest, and Runciman in the south. Auckland lies between the Hauraki Gulf of the Pacific Ocean to the east, the Low Hunua Ranges to the southeast, the Manuko Harbour to the southwest, and the Waitakere Ranges and smaller ranges to the west and northwest. The surrounding hills are covered in rainforest and the landscape is dotted with dozens of dormant volcanic cones. The central part of the urban area occupies a narrow isthmus between the Manuko Harbour on the Tasman Sea and the Waitmata Harbour on the Pacific Ocean. Auckland is one of the few cities in the world to have a harbour on each of two separate major bodies of water. The isthmus on which Auckland resides was first settled around 1350 and was valued for its rich and fertile land. The Maori population in the area is estimated to have peaked at 20,000 before the arrival of Europeans. After a British colony was established in 1840, William Hobson, then Lieutenant Governor of New Zealand, chose the area as his new capital. He named the area for George Eden, Earl of Auckland, British First Lord of the Admiralty. It was replaced as the capital in 1865 by Wellington, but immigration to Auckland stayed strong, and it has remained the country's most populous city. Today, Auckland's central business district is the major financial centre of New Zealand. Auckland is classified as a Beta Plus World City because of its importance in commerce, the arts, and education. The University of Auckland, established in 1883, is the largest university in New Zealand. Landmarks such as the Auckland Art Gallery Toy o Tamaki, the Harbour Bridge, the Sky Tower, and many museums, parks, restaurants, and theatres are among the city's significant tourist attractions. Auckland Airport handles around 1 million international passengers a month. Despite being one of the most expensive cities in the world, Auckland is ranked third on the 2016 Mercer Quality of Living Survey, making it one of the most livable cities. History Early history The isthmus was settled by Maori circa 1350, and was valued for its rich and fertile land. Many pa fortified villages were created, mainly on the volcanic peaks. The Maori population in the area is estimated to have been about 20,000 before the arrival of Europeans. The introduction of firearms at the end of the 18th century, which began in Northland, upset the balance of power and led to devastating intertribal warfare beginning in 1807, causing IWI who lacked the new weapons to seek refuge in areas less exposed to coastal raids. As a result, the region had relatively low numbers of Maori when European settlement of New Zealand began. However, there is nothing to suggest that this was the result of a deliberate European policy. On 27 January 1832, Joseph Brooks Weller, eldest of the Weller brothers of Otago and Sydney, bought land including the site of the modern city of Auckland, the North Shore, and part of Rodney District for one large cask of powder from Kohi Rangatira. After the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi in February 1840, the new governor of New Zealand, William Hobson, chose the area as his new capital and named it for George Eden, Earl of Auckland, then Viceroy of India. The land that Auckland was established on was given to the governor by a local IWI, Nati Watua, as a sign of goodwill and in the hope that the building of a city would attract commercial and political opportunities for IWI. Auckland was officially declared New Zealand's capital in 1841, and the transfer of the administration from Russell, now Old Russell in the Bay of Islands was completed in 1842. 
However, even in 1840 Port Nicholson later renamed Wellington was seen as a better choice for an administrative capital because of its proximity to the South Island, and Wellington became the capital in 1865. After losing its status as capital, Auckland remained the principal city of the Auckland province until the provincial system was abolished in 1876. In response to the ongoing rebellion by Hone Heke in the mid-1840s, the government encouraged retired but fit British soldiers and their families to migrate to Auckland to form a defence line around the port settlement as garrison soldiers. By the time the first fencibles arrived in 1848, the rebels in the north had been defeated. Outlying defensive towns were then constructed to the south, stretching in a line from the port village of Onihinga in the west to Howick in the east. Each of the four settlements had about 800 settlers, the men were fully armed in case of emergency, but spent nearly all their time breaking in the land and establishing roads. In the early 1860s, Auckland became a base against the Maori King movement, and the 12,000 imperial soldiers stationed there led to a strong boost to local commerce. This, and continued road building towards the south into the Waikato, enabled Pakeha European New Zealanders influence to spread from Auckland. The city's population grew fairly rapidly, from 1,500 in 1841 to 3,635 in 1845, then to 12,423 by 1864. The growth occurred similarly to other mercantile-dominated cities, mainly around the port and with problems of overcrowding and pollution. Auckland's population of ex-soldiers was far greater than that of other settlements, about 50% of the population was Irish, which contrasted heavily with the majority English settlers in Wellington, Christchurch or New Plymouth. Most of the Irish though not all, were from Protestant Ulster. The majority of settlers in the early period were assisted by receiving cheap passage to New Zealand. Modern history. Trams and railway lines shaped Auckland's rapid expansion in the early first half of the 20th century. However, after the Second World War the city's transport system and urban form became increasingly dominated by the motor vehicle. Arterial roads and motorways became both defining and geographically dividing features of the urban landscape. They also allowed further massive expansion that resulted in the growth of urban areas such as the North Shore especially after the construction of the Auckland Harbour Bridge in the late 1950s, and Manuco City in the south. Economic deregulation in the mid-1980s led to dramatic changes to Auckland's economy and many companies relocated their head offices from Wellington to Auckland. The region was now the nerve centre of the national economy. Auckland also benefited from a surge in tourism, which brought 75% of New Zealand's international visitors through its airport. Auckland's port handled 31% of the country's container trade in 2015. The face of urban Auckland changed when the government's immigration policy began allowing immigrants from Asia in 1986. According to the 1961 census data, Maori and Pacific Islanders comprised 5% of Auckland's population, Asians less than 1%. By 2006 the Asian population had reached 18.0% in Auckland, and 36.2% in the central city. New arrivals from Hong Kong, Taiwan and Korea gave a distinctive character to the areas where they clustered, while a range of other immigrants introduced mosques, Hindu temples, halal butchers and ethnic restaurants to the suburbs. The assertiveness of Pacific Island street culture and the increasing political influence of ethnic groups contributes to the city's multicultural vitality. Topic Geography Topic Harbors, Gulf and Rivers Auckland lies on and around an isthmus, less than two kilometers wide at its narrowest point, between Mangaree Inlet and the Tamaki River. There are two harbours in the Auckland urban area surrounding this isthmus, Waitmata Harbour to the north, which opens east to the Hauraki Gulf and thence to the Pacific Ocean, and Manuko Harbour to the south, which opens west to the Tasman Sea. The total coastline of Auckland is 3,702 kilometres 2,300 miles long. Bridges span parts of both harbours, notably the Auckland Harbour Bridge crossing the Waitmata Harbour west of the Auckland Central Business District CBD. The Mangaree Bridge and the Upper Harbour Bridge span the upper reaches of the Manuko and Waitmata Harbours, respectively. 
In earlier times, portage paths crossed the narrowest sections of the isthmus. Several islands of the Hauraki Gulf are administered as part of Auckland, though they are not part of the Auckland metropolitan area. Parts of Waiheke Island effectively function as Auckland suburbs, while various smaller islands near Auckland are mostly zoned recreational open space or are nature sanctuaries. Auckland also has a total length of approximately 21,000 kilometers, 13,000 miles of rivers and streams, about 8% of these in urban areas. Topic: <laughs> Climate Under the Köppen climate classification, Auckland has an oceanic climate, Köppen climate classification CFB, while according to the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research NIWA, its climate is classified as subtropical with warm humid summers and mild damp winters. It is the warmest main centre of New Zealand and is also one of the sunniest, with an average of 2,003.1 sunshine hours per annum. The average daily maximum temperature is 23.7 degrees Celsius .7 degrees Fahrenheit in February and 14.7 degrees Celsius .5 degrees Fahrenheit in July. The absolute maximum recorded temperature is 34.4 degrees Celsius .9 .9 degrees Fahrenheit on 12 February 2009, while the absolute minimum is minus 3.9 degrees Celsius .0 degrees Fahrenheit, although there is also an unofficial low of minus 5.7 degrees Celsius .7 degrees Fahrenheit recorded at Riverhead Forest in June 1936. High levels of rainfall occur almost year-round with an average of 1,115.5 mm per year. Snowfall is extremely rare, the most significant fall since the start of the 20th century was on 27 July 1939, when snow stuck to the clothes of people outdoors just before dawn and 5 cm of snow reportedly lay on the summit of Mount Eden. Snowflakes were also seen on 28 July 1930 and 15 August 2011. The early morning calm on the isthmus during settled weather, before the sea breeze rises, was described as early as 1853. In all seasons, the beauty of the day is in the early morning. At that time, generally, a solemn stillness holds, and a perfect calm prevails. Auckland occasionally suffers from air pollution due to fine particle emissions. There are also occasional breaches of guideline levels of carbon monoxide. While maritime winds normally disperse the pollution relatively quickly it can sometimes become visible as smog, especially on calm winter days. Volcanoes <inaudible> 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 Auckland straddles the Auckland Volcanic Field, which has produced about 90 volcanic eruptions from 50 volcanoes in the last 90,000 years. It is the only city in the world built on a basaltic volcanic field that is still active. It is estimated that the field will stay active for about 1 million years. Surface features include cones, lakes, lagoons, islands and depressions, and several have produced extensive lava flows. Some of the cones and flows have been partly or completely quarried away. The individual volcanoes are all considered extinct, although the volcanic field itself is merely dormant. The trend is for the latest eruptions to occur in the northwest of the field. Auckland has at least 14 large lava tube caves which run from the volcanoes down towards the sea. Some are several kilometers long. A new suburb, Stonefields, has been built in an excavated lava flow, northwest of Mongeray, Mount Wellington, that was previously used as a quarry by windstones. Auckland's volcanoes are fueled entirely by basaltic magma, unlike the explosive subduction-driven volcanism in the central North Island, such as at Mount Ruapehu and Lake Taupo which are of tectonic origin. The most recent and by far the largest volcano, Rangitoto Island, was formed within the last 1,000 years, and its eruptions destroyed the Maori settlements on neighboring Motutapu Island some 700 years ago. Rangitoto's size, its symmetry, its position guarding the entrance to Waitemata Harbour and its visibility from many parts of the Auckland region make it Auckland's most iconic natural feature. Because of its rich acidic soil and the type of flora growing out of the rocky soil, only a few birds and insects inhabit the island. <laughs> Cityscape Topic. 
Demographics The Auckland metropolitan area has a population of 1,628,900 people according to Statistics New Zealand's June 2018 estimate, which is 33.3% of New Zealand's population. Many ethnic groups from all corners of the world have a presence in Auckland, making it by far the country's most cosmopolitan city. Europeans make up the majority of Auckland's population, however substantial numbers of Maori, Pacific Islander and Asian peoples exist as well. Auckland has the largest Polynesian population of any city in the world. As of the 2013 census, the city has 13 ethnic groups constituting more than 1% of the population. New Zealand Europeans are the majority at 52.3%, with indigenous Maori making up 10.7%. Other significant ethnic groups present in Auckland include Chinese 8.4%, Indian 7.5%, and Samoan 7.2%. In total, 59.3 of Aucklanders identified as a European ethnicity, 23.1% as an Asian ethnicity, 14.6% as a Pacific ethnicity, 10.7% as Maori, 1.9% as a Middle Eastern, Latin American or African ethnicity, and 1.1% as another ethnicity. <laughs> Nationalities and migration Auckland's population is predominantly of European origin, though the proportion of those of Asian or other non-European origins has increased in recent decades due to immigration and the removal of restrictions directly or indirectly based on race. Immigration to New Zealand is heavily concentrated towards Auckland, partly for job market reasons. This strong focus on Auckland has led the immigration services to award extra points towards immigration visa requirements for people intending to move to other parts of New Zealand. Immigration from overseas into Auckland is partially offset by net emigration of people from Auckland to other regions of New Zealand, mainly Waikato and Bay of Plenty. At the 2013 census, 39.1% of Auckland's population were born overseas. In the local board areas of Puketapapa and Howick, overseas born residents outnumbered those born in New Zealand. Auckland is home to over half .6 of New Zealand's overseas-born population, including 72% of the country's Pacific Island-born population, 64% of its Asian-born population, and 56% of its Middle Eastern and African-born population. Religion Around 48.5% of Aucklanders at the 2013 census affiliated with Christianity and 11.7% affiliated with non-Christian religions, while 37.8% of the population were irreligious and 3.8% objected to answering. Roman Catholicism is the largest Christian denomination with 13.3% affiliating, followed by Anglicanism 9.1% and Presbyterianism 7.4%. Recent immigration from Asia has added to the religious diversity of the city, increasing the number of people affiliating with Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam and Sikhism, although there are no figures on religious attendance. There is also a small, long-established Jewish community. Topic. Future growth Auckland is experiencing substantial population growth via natural population increases one -third of growth and immigration two -thirds, and is set to grow to an estimated 1.9 million inhabitants by 2031 in a medium variant scenario. This substantial increase in population will have a major impact on transport, housing and other infrastructure that are, particularly in the case of housing, already considered under pressure. The high variant scenario shows the region's population growing to over 2 million by 2031. In July 2016, Auckland Council released, as the outcome of a three-year study and public hearings, its unitary plan for Auckland. The plan aims to free up to 30% more land for housing and allows for greater intensification of the existing urban area, creating 422,000 new dwellings in the next 30 years. Lifestyle 
Auckland's lifestyle is influenced by the fact that while it is 70% rural in land area, 90% of Aucklanders live in urban areas, though large parts of these areas have a more suburban character than many cities in Europe and Asia. Positive aspects of Auckland life are its mild climate, plentiful employment and educational opportunities, as well as numerous leisure facilities. Meanwhile, traffic problems, the lack of good public transport, and increasing housing costs have been cited by many Aucklanders as among the strongest negative factors of living there, together with crime. Nonetheless, Auckland ranked third in a survey of the quality of life of 215 major cities of the world 2015 data. In 2006, Auckland placed 23rd on the UBS list of the world's richest cities. In 2010, Auckland was ranked by the Mercer Consulting Firm as 149th of 214 centres on a scale of cost of living, i.e., making it among the most affordable cities worldwide to live in, with living expense of $20,000 per year. Based on the comparative cost of 200 aspects of life, including housing, transport, food, clothing, and household goods. Leisure One of Auckland's nicknames, the City of Sales, is derived from the popularity of sailing in the region. 135,000 yachts and launches are registered in Auckland, and around 60,500 of the country's 149,900 registered yachtsmen are from Auckland, with about one in three Auckland households owning a boat. The Viaduct Basin, on the western edge of the CBD, hosted two America's Cup challenges 2000 Cup and 2003 Cup. The Waitmata Harbour is home to several notable yacht clubs and marinas, including the Royal New Zealand Yacht Squadron and Westhaven Marina, the largest of the Southern Hemisphere. The Waitmata Harbour has several swimming beaches, including Mission Bay and Koimarama on the south side of the harbour, and Stanley Bay on the north side. On the eastern coastline of the North Shore, where the Rangitoto Channel divides the inner Hauraki Gulf Islands from the mainland, there are excellent swimming beaches at Cheltenham and Narrow Neck in Devonport, Takapuna, Milford, and the various beaches further north in the area known as East Coast Bays. The west coast has popular surf spots such as Piha, Muriwai and Bethel's Beach. The Fongaparaoa Peninsula, Orawa, Omaha and Pakari, to the north of the main urban area, are also nearby. Many Auckland beaches are patrolled by surf lifesaving clubs, such as PIHA Surf Life Saving Club the home of PIHA Rescue. All surf lifesaving clubs are part of the Surf Life Saving Northern Region. Queen Street, Britomart, Ponsonby Road, Karangahape Road, Newmarket and Parnell are local retail areas, whilst the Otara and Avondale flea markets offer an alternative shopping experience on weekend mornings. Most shopping malls are located in the middle and outer suburbs, with Sylvia Park and Westfield Albany being the largest. Arts and culture A number of arts events are held in Auckland, including the Auckland Festival, the Auckland Triennial, the New Zealand International Comedy Festival, and the New Zealand International Film Festival. The Auckland Philharmonia Orchestra is the city and region's resident full-time symphony orchestra, performing its own series of concerts and accompanying opera and ballet. Events celebrating the city's cultural diversity include the Pacifica Festival, Polyfest, and the Auckland Lantern Festival, all of which are the largest of their kind in New Zealand. Additionally, Auckland regularly hosts the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra and Royal New Zealand Ballet. Auckland is part of the UNESCO Creative Cities Network in the category of music. Important institutions include the Auckland Art Gallery, Auckland War Memorial Museum, New Zealand Maritime Museum, National Museum of the Royal New Zealand Navy, and the Museum of Transport and Technology. The Auckland Art Gallery is considered the home of the visual arts in New Zealand with a collection of over 15,000 artworks, including prominent New Zealand and Pacific Island artists, as well as international painting, sculpture and print collections ranging in date from 1376 to the present day. In 2009 the gallery was promised a gift of 15 works of art by New York art collectors and philanthropists Julian and Josie Robertson, including well-known paintings by Paul Cézanne, Pablo Picasso, Henri Matisse, Paul Gauguin and Piet Mondrian. This is the largest gift ever made to an art museum in Australasia. <laughs> Parks and nature 
Auckland Domain is one of the largest parks in the city, close to the Auckland CBD and having a good view of the Hauraki Gulf and Rangitoto Island. Smaller parks close to the city centre are Albert Park, Myers Park, Western Park and Victoria Park. While most volcanic cones in the Auckland volcanic field have been affected by quarrying, many of the remaining cones are now within parks, and retain a more natural character than the surrounding city. Prehistoric earthworks and historic fortifications are in several of these parks, including Mongafau, Mount Eden, North Head and Mongakiekie, One Tree Hill. Other parks around the city are in Western Springs, which has a large park bordering the MOTAT Museum and the Auckland Zoo. The Auckland Botanic Gardens are further south, in Manuriwa. Ferries provide transport to parks and nature reserves at Devonport, Waiheke Island, Rangitoto Island and Tiritiri Matangi. The Waitakere Ranges Regional Park to the west of Auckland has relatively unspoiled bush territory, as do the Hunua Ranges to the south. Sport Topic. Locations Rugby union, cricket, rugby league, football and netball are widely played and followed. Auckland has a considerable number of rugby union and cricket grounds, and venues for basketball, motorsports, tennis, badminton, netball, swimming, soccer, rugby league, and many other sports. Eden Park is the city's primary stadium and a frequent home for international rugby union and cricket matches, in addition to super rugby matches where the Blues play their home games. North Harbour Stadium is mainly used for rugby union and football soccer matches, but is also used for concerts. Home stadium for North Harbour in the Mitre 10 Cup. Mount Smart Stadium is used mainly for rugby league matches and is home to the New Zealand Warriors of the NRL, and is also used for concerts, previously hosting the Auckland Stop of the Big Day Out Music Festival every January. ASB Tennis Centre is Auckland's primary tennis centre, hosting international tournaments for men and women ASB Classic in January each year. ASB Bank took over the sponsorship of the men's tournament from 2016, the event formerly being known as the Heineken Open. Spark Arena is an indoor arena. It is primarily used for concerts and international netball matches. The Trusts Arena is an indoor arena which primarily hosts netball matches, and is the home of the Northern Mystics of the ANZ Premiership. It is also where the 2007 World Netball Championships were held. Since 2015, an annual event on the World Series of Darts has been held there. North Shore Events Center is an indoor arena, primarily used for basketball. It is home to the New Zealand Breakers. The Vodafone Events Centre is an indoor arena which hosts a variety of events, and is the home of the Northern Stars of the ANZ Premiership. Pukekohe Park Raceway is a motorsports venue that hosts V8 supercars races annually, along with other motorsports events. Western Springs Stadium hosts many large-scale concerts, as well as speedway racing during the summer, as it has done since 1929. Teams Sporting teams who compete in national or trans-national competitions are as follows Formerly the Auckland Blues, the Blues, a team in Super Rugby. Auckland is also home to three Mitre 10 Cup Rugby Union teams, Auckland, North Harbour and Counties Manuko. Previously the Auckland Warriors, the New Zealand Warriors is a team in Australia's NRL competition. They play their home games at Mount Smart Stadium in Auckland, although some games have been played at Eden Park. The Akarana Falcons and Counties Manuko compete in the national competition. Auckland's men's first-class cricket team, the Auckland Aces, play their home matches at Eden Park, generally on the outer oval. The women's equivalent, the Auckland Hearts, play at Melville Park in Epsom. Auckland City, Waitakere United, and Eastern Suburbs football teams play in the ISPS Handa Premiership. The Northern Mystics and Northern Stars are netball teams which compete in the ANZ Premiership. The Mystics play their home games at Trust Stadium and the Stars at the Vodafone Events Centre. The New Zealand Breakers is a team in the Australian Australian NBL and play their home matches primarily at North Shore Events Centre, although some games are played at Spark Arena. The Super City Rangers compete in the New Zealand NBL. 
The Botany Swarm and West Auckland Admirals compete in the New Zealand Ice Hockey League. Topic: <laughs> Major events. Annual sporting events held in Auckland include the ASB Classic Men's and Women's Tennis Events, held annually at the ASB Tennis Centre in January the men's event having been named the Heineken Open prior to 2016. The Auckland Supersprint Supercars Championship Race is held annually at Pukekohe Park Raceway. The Auckland Marathon and Half Marathon, an annual marathon which draws thousands of competitors. The Auckland Harbour Crossing Swim from the North Shore to the Viaduct Basin, Auckland CBD, is a yearly summer event, covering 2.8 kilometres often with some considerable counter currents and attended by over a thousand mostly amateur competitors. It is New Zealand's largest ocean swim. The Round the Bays Fun Run, starting in the city and going 8.4 kilometres 5.2 miles along the waterfront to the suburb of St Heliers. It attracts many tens of thousands of people and has been an annual march event since 1972. The Auckland Darts Masters has been held annually at the Trusts Arena since 2015. Events previously held in Auckland include the 1950 British Empire Games and the Commonwealth Games in 1990, and a number of matches including the semi-finals and the final of the 1987 Rugby World Cup and 2011 Rugby World Cup. The ITU World Triathlon Series held a grand final event in the Auckland CBD from 2012 until 2015. Auckland hosted the 2017 World Masters Games in April 2017. The NRL Auckland Nines was a Rugby League Nines preseason competition played at Eden Park from 2014 to 2017. Economy. Auckland is the major economic and financial centre of New Zealand. The city's economy is based largely on services and commerce. Most major international corporations have an Auckland office. The most expensive office space is around Lower Queen Street and the Viaduct Basin in the Auckland CBD, where many financial and business services are located, which make up a large percentage of the CBD economy. The largest commercial and industrial areas of the Auckland region are in the southeast of Auckland City and the western parts of Manuko City, mostly bordering the Manuko Harbour and the Tamaki River estuary. According to the 2013 census, the primary employment industries of Auckland residents are professional, scientific and technical services 11.4%, manufacturing 9.9%, retail trade 9.7%, health care and social assistance 9.1%, and education and training 8.3%. Manufacturing is the largest employer in the Henderson Massey, Howick, Mangari Otahuhu, Otara Papatoetoe, Manuriwa, and Papakura local board areas. Retail trade is the largest employer in the Wau local board area, while professional, scientific, and technical services are the largest employer in the remaining urban local board areas. The sub national GDP of the Auckland region was estimated at $93.5 billion in 2016, 37.2% of New Zealand's national GDP. The per capita GDP of Auckland was estimated at $58,717, the third highest in the country after the Taranaki and Wellington regions, and above the national average of $54,178. In 2014, the median personal income for all persons older than 15 years of age per year in Auckland was estimated at $41,860, behind only Wellington. Topic. Education Topic. Primary and secondary The Auckland urban area has 340 primary schools, 80 secondary schools, and 29 composite primary, secondary combined schools as of February 2012, catering for nearly quarter of a million students. The majority are state schools, but 63 schools are state integrated and 39 are private. The city is home to some of the largest schools in New Zealand, including Rangitoto College in the East Coast Bays area, the largest school in New Zealand with 3,215 students as of August 2018. Topic: <laughs> Tertiary 
Auckland has a number of important educational institutions, including some of the largest universities in the country. Auckland is a major centre of overseas language education, with large numbers of foreign students particularly East Asians coming to the city for several months or years to learn English or study at universities, although numbers New Zealand-wide have dropped substantially since peaking in 2003. As of 2007, there are around 50 New Zealand Qualifications Authority NZQA certified schools and institutes teaching English in the Auckland area. Amongst the more important tertiary educational institutes are the University of Auckland, Auckland University of Technology, Massey University, Manuko Institute of Technology, and Unitech New Zealand. Topic: Housing. Housing varies considerably between some suburbs having state-owned housing in the lower-income neighborhoods, to palatial waterfront estates, especially in areas close to the Waitmata Harbour. Traditionally, the most common residence of Aucklanders was a standalone dwelling on a quarter-acre 1,000 square meters. However, subdividing such properties with infill housing has long been the norm. Auckland's housing stock has become more diverse in recent decades, with many more apartments being built since the 1970s, particularly since the 1990s in the CBD. Nevertheless, the majority of Aucklanders live in single-dwelling housing and are expected to continue to do so, even with most of future urban growth being through intensification. Auckland's housing is amongst the least affordable in the world, based on comparing average house prices with average household income levels and house prices have grown well above the rate of inflation in recent decades. In December 2017, Quotable Value reported the average house price for Auckland Metro was $1,052,000. This is compared with $628,000 in Wellington Metro, $543,000 in Hamilton, $494,000 in Christchurch, and $156,000 in the Wairoa District the area with the lowest average house price in New Zealand. There is significant public debate around why Auckland's housing is so expensive, often referring to a lack of land supply, the easy availability of credit for residential investment and Auckland's high level of livability. In some areas, the Victorian villas have been torn down to make way for redevelopment. The demolition of the older houses is being combated through increased heritage protection for older parts of the city. Auckland has been described as having the most extensive range of timbered housing with its classical details and mouldings in the world, many of them Victorian Edwardian style houses. Housing crisis Towards the end of the first decade after 2000, a housing crisis began in Auckland with the market not being able to sustain the demand for affordable homes. The Housing Accords and Special Housing Areas Act 2013 mandated that a minimum of 10% of new builds in certain housing areas be subsidized to make them affordable for buyers who had incomes on par with the national average. In a new subdivision at Hobsonville Point, 20% of new homes were reduced to below $550,000. Some of the demand for new housing at this time was attributed to the 43,000 people who moved into Auckland between June 2014 and June 2015. Topic: Government. Topic: Local. The Auckland Council is the local authority with jurisdiction over the city of Auckland, along with surrounding rural areas, parkland, and the islands of the Hauraki Gulf. From 1989 to 2010, Auckland was governed by several city and district councils, with regional oversight by Auckland Regional Council. In the late 2000s, New Zealand's central government and parts of Auckland society felt that this large number of councils, and the lack of strong regional government with the Auckland Regional Council having only limited powers, were hindering Auckland's progress. A Royal Commission on Auckland Governance was set up in 2007, and in 2009 it recommended a unified local governance structure for Auckland by amalgamating the councils. The government subsequently announced that a super city would be set up with a single mayor by the time of New Zealand's local body elections in 2010. In October 2010, Manuko City Mayor Len Brown was elected mayor of the amalgamated Auckland Council. He was re elected for a second term in October 2013. Brown did not stand for re election in the 2016 mayoral election, and was succeeded by successful candidate Phil Goff in October 2016. 
Twenty councillors make up the remainder of the Auckland Council governing body, elected from 13 electoral wards. National Between 1842 and 1865, Auckland was the capital city of New Zealand. Parliament met in what is now Old Government House on the University of Auckland City campus. The capital was moved to the more centrally located Wellington in 1865. Auckland, because of its large population, is covered by 22 general electorates and three Maori electorates, each returning one member to the New Zealand House of Representatives. The governing Labour Party holds eight general electorates and all three Maori electorates, the opposing National Party holds 13 general electorates, and ACT holds the remaining electorate Epsom. In addition, there are a varying number of Auckland-based list MPs, who are elected via party lists. As of December 2015, there are 12 list MPs in the House who contested Auckland-based electorates at the 2014 election, six from National, four from Green, and one each from Labour and New Zealand First. Other The administrative offices of the government of the Pitcairn Islands is situated in Auckland. Transport Travel modes Road and rail private vehicles are the main form of transportation within Auckland, with around 7% of journeys in the Auckland region undertaken by bus in 2006, and 2% undertaken by train and ferry. For trips to the city centre at peak times the use of public transport is much higher, with more than half of trips undertaken by bus, train or ferry. Auckland still ranks quite low in its use of public transport, having only 46 public transport trips per capita per year, while Wellington has almost twice this number at 91, and Sydney has 114 trips. This strong roading focus results in substantial traffic congestion during peak times. Bus services in Auckland are mostly radial, with few cross-town routes. Late night services i.e. past midnight are limited, even on weekends. A major overhaul of Auckland's bus services was implemented during 2016-18, significantly expanding the reach of frequent bus services, those that operate at least every 15 minutes during the day and early evening, every day of the week. Rail services operate along four lines between the CBD and the west, south and southeast of Auckland, with longer distance trains operating to Wellington only a few times each week. Following the opening of Britomart Transport Centre in 2003, major investment in Auckland's rail network occurred, involving station upgrades, rolling stock refurbishment and infrastructure improvements. The rail upgrade has included electrification of Auckland's rail network, with electric trains constructed by Construcciones y Auxiliaire de Ferrocarriles commencing service in April 2014. A number of proposed projects to further extend Auckland's rail network were included in the 2012 Auckland Plan, including the City Rail Link, the Auckland Airport Line, the Avondale Southdown Line and rail to the North Shore. Other modest Auckland's ports are the second largest of the country, behind the port of Tauranga, and a large part of both inbound and outbound New Zealand commerce travels through them, mostly via the facilities northeast of Auckland CBD. Freight usually arrives at or is distributed from the port via road, though the port facilities also have rail access. Auckland is a major cruise ship stopover point, with the ships usually tying up at Prince's Wharf. Auckland CBD is connected to coastal suburbs, to the North Shore and to outlying islands by ferry. Air Auckland has various small regional airports and Auckland Airport, the busiest of the country. Auckland Airport, New Zealand's largest, is in the southern suburb of Mangere on the shores of the Manuko Harbour. There are frequent services to Australia, and to other New Zealand destinations. There are also direct connections to many locations in the South Pacific, as well as the United States, Asia, Vancouver, London, Santiago and Buenos Aires. In terms of international flights, Auckland is the second best connected city in Oceania. Policy research at Griffith University has indicated that in the last 50 years, Auckland has engaged in some of the most pro-automobile transport policies anywhere in the world. 
With public transport declining heavily during the second half of the 20th century a trend mirrored in most Western countries such as the US, and increased spending on roads and cars, New Zealand and specifically Auckland now has the second highest vehicle ownership rate in the world, with around 578 vehicles per 1,000 people. Auckland has also been called a very pedestrian and cyclist unfriendly city, though some efforts are being made to change this, with Auckland being a major participant in the government's urban cycleways initiative, and with the Skypath project for a walk and cycleway on the Auckland Harbour Bridge having received council support and planning consent. Infrastructure <inaudible> 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 The State Highway Network connects the different parts of Auckland, with State Highway 1 being the major north-south thoroughfare through the city including both the northern and southern motorways and the main connection to the adjoining regions of Northland and Waikato. The northern busway runs alongside part of the northern motorway on the north shore. Other state highways within Auckland include State Highway 16, the Northwest Motorway, State Highway 18, the Upper Harbour Motorway, and State Highway 20, the Southwest Motorway. State Highway 22 is a non-motorway rural arterial connecting Pukekohe to the southern motorway at Drury. The Auckland Harbour Bridge, opened in 1959, is the main connection between the North Shore and the rest of the Auckland metropolitan area. The bridge provides eight lanes of vehicle traffic and has a movable median barrier for lane flexibility, but does not provide access for rail, pedestrians or cyclists. The Central Motorway Junction, also called Spaghetti Junction for its complexity, is the intersection between the two major motorways of Auckland State Highway 1 and State Highway 16. Two of the longest arterial roads within the Auckland region are Great North Road and Great South Road, the main connections in those directions before the construction of the State Highway Network. Numerous arterial roads also provide regional and sub-regional connectivity, with many of these roads especially on the isthmus previously used to operate Auckland's former tram network. Auckland has four railway lines Western, Onihinga, Eastern and Southern. These lines serve the western, southern and eastern parts of Auckland from the Britomart Transport Centre in downtown Auckland, the terminal station for all lines, where connections are also available to ferry and bus services. Work began in late 2015 to provide more route flexibility and connect Britomart more directly to western suburbs on the western line via an underground rail tunnel known as the City Rail Link Project. <laughs> <laughs> Infrastructure and services Electricity <laughs> 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 Auckland is New Zealand's largest electricity consumer, and uses around 20% of the country's total electricity each year. Vector, which operates the majority of Auckland's local distribution system, measured maximum demand at 1,768 MW in 2017-18, with 8,732 GWh delivered. There are no major electricity generation stations located within the city or north of Auckland, so almost all of the electricity for Auckland and Northland must be transmitted from power stations in the south, mainly from Huntley Power Station and the Waikato River hydroelectric stations. The city had two natural gas-fired power stations, the 380 MW Otahuhu B owned by Contact Energy and the 175 MW Southdown owned by Mighty River Power, but both shut down in 2015. Transpower owns the national grid and is responsible for the high-voltage transmission lines into and across Auckland. Five major 220 kV transmission lines connect Auckland with the Waikato, terminating into Otahuhu and Brownhill substations. The subtransmission and distribution network in the Auckland region is mostly owned by Vector. The network south of central Papakura is owned by Counties Power. There have been several notable power outages in Auckland. The five-week-long 1998 Auckland power crisis blacked out much of the CBD after a cascade failure occurred on four underground cables in Mercury Energy's sub-transmission network. The 2006 Auckland blackout interrupted supply to the CBD and many inner suburbs after an earth wire shackle at Transpower's Otahuhu substation broke and short-circuited the lines supplying the inner city. 
In 2009, much of the northern and western suburbs, as well as all of Northland, experienced a blackout when a forklift accidentally came into contact with the Otahuhu to Henderson 220 kV line, the only major line supplying the region. Transpower spent $1.25 billion in the early 2010s reinforcing the supply into and across Auckland, including a 400 kV capable transmission line from the Waikato River to Brownhill substation operating initially at 220 kV, and 220 kV underground cables between Brownhill and Pakuranga, and between Pakuranga and Albany via the CBD. These reduced the Auckland region's reliance on Otahuhu substation and northern and western Auckland's reliance on the Otahuhu to Henderson line. Despite these upgrades, Auckland's overall supply reliability is well behind that of other New Zealand cities. In the year to March 2018, Vector disclosed that the average customer in Auckland spent 211 minutes without power due to unplanned outages, compared to 65 minutes in Christchurch Orion and 55 minutes in Wellington, Wellington Electricity. Natural gas Auckland was one of the original nine towns and cities in New Zealand to be supplied with natural gas when the Kapuni gas field entered production in 1970 and a 340 km long high-pressure pipeline from the field in Taranaki to the city was completed. Auckland was connected to the Maui gas field in 1982 following the completion of a high-pressure pipeline from the Maui gas pipeline near Huntley, via the city, to Whangarei in Northland. The high-pressure transmission pipelines supplying the city are now owned and operated by First Gas, with Vector owning and operating the medium and low-pressure distribution pipelines in the city. Tourism Tourism in Auckland yields strong revenue for the New Zealand economy. Tourist attractions and landmarks in the Auckland metropolitan area include Attractions and buildings Auckland Civic Theatre, an internationally significant heritage atmospheric theatre built in 1929. It was renovated in 2000 to its original condition. Auckland Harbour Bridge, connecting central Auckland and the North Shore, an iconic symbol of Auckland. Auckland Town Hall, with its concert hall considered to have some of the finest acoustics in the world, this 1911 building serves both council and entertainment functions. Auckland War Memorial Museum, a large multi-exhibition museum in the Auckland domain, known for its impressive neoclassicist style, built in 1929. Aotea Square, the hub of downtown Auckland beside Queen Street, it is the site of rallies and arts festivals. Aotea Centre, Auckland Civic Centre building completed in 1989. St. Patrick's Cathedral, the Catholic Cathedral of Auckland. A 19th-century Gothic building which was renovated from 2003 to 2007 for refurbishment and structural support. Britomart Transport Centre, the main downtown public transport centre in a historic Edwardian building. Eden Park, the city's primary stadium and a frequent home for All Blacks Rugby Union and Black Caps cricket matches. It was the location of the 2011 Rugby World Cup final. Karangahape Road, known as K Road, a street in Upper Central Auckland famous for its bars, clubs, smaller shops and being a former red light district. Kelly Tarleton Sea Life Aquarium, an aquarium and Antarctic environment in the eastern suburb of Mission Bay, built in a set of former sewage storage tanks, showcasing penguins, turtles, sharks, tropical fish, sting rays and other marine creatures. MOTAT, the Museum of Transport and Technology, at Western Springs. Mount Smart Stadium, a stadium used mainly for rugby league and soccer matches, and also concerts. New Zealand Maritime Museum – features exhibitions and collections relating to New Zealand maritime history at Hobson Wharf, adjacent to Viaduct Basin. Ponsonby – a suburb and main street immediately west of central Auckland, known for arts, cafes, culture and historic villas. Queen Street – the main street of the city, running from Karangahape Road down to the harbour. Rainbow's End – theme park with over 20 rides and attractions based in Manuko. Sky Tower, the tallest freestanding structure in the Southern Hemisphere, it is 328 metres 1,076 feet tall and has excellent panoramic views. Spark Arena, events centre in downtown Auckland completed in 2007. 
Holding 12,000 people, it is used for sports and concert events. Viaduct Basin, a marina and residential development in downtown Auckland, and the venue for the America's Cup regattas in 2000 and 2003. Western Springs Stadium, a natural amphitheater used mainly for speedway races, rock and pop concerts. Landmark Auckland Domain, one of the largest parks of the city, close to the CBD and having a good view of the harbour and of Rangitoto Island. Mongafau, Mount Eden, a volcanic cone with a grassy crater. The highest natural point in Auckland City, it offers 360-degree views of Auckland and is thus a favourite tourist outlook. Takarunga, Mount Victoria, a volcanic cone on the north shore with views of downtown Auckland. A brisk walk from the Devonport Ferry Terminal, the cone is steeped in history, as is nearby Mangaweka North Head. Mangakiekie, One Tree Hill, a volcanic cone that dominates the skyline in the southern inner suburbs. It no longer has a tree on the summit after a politically motivated attack on the erstwhile tree but is crowned by an obelisk. Rangitoto Island, guards the entrance to Waitemata Harbour and forms a prominent feature on the eastern horizon. Waiheke Island, the second largest island in the Hauraki Gulf and known for its beaches, forests, vineyards and olive groves. Old Mount Eden Prison The old prison in Mount Eden that was used until 2008, these days it is more used for protests and filming. <laughs> Sister cities Auckland Council maintains relationships with the following cities. See also East Auckland Jaffa slang term for Aucklander, article also contains a range of Aucklander stereotypes List of tallest buildings in Auckland